is NBC5 News. Tonight, step aside Botox, a new wrinkle reducer just got FDA approval. And analysts say it may be cheaper. There was a time when Botox was the only game in town. Mostly because in my forehead, the wrinkles, they just, they're starting to kind of in, be in the resting phase. The wrinkle remover, a purified form of a deadly poison that did $1.3 billion in sales last year, is getting a run for its money now in the U.S. I would say different Botox. It's called Dysport, just approved by the FDA. So new packaging is underway. Here's what we know about it. It, too, is derived from the botulinum toxin. It's an injectable, like Botox, that's been used in 60 other countries since the 1990s. Dr. Fiona Wright, a cosmetic physician who serves on the national boards for both Botox and Dysport, and has injected Dysport in Canada, says results are faster with Dysport. Botox has its onset of action, which is five to seven days. Dysport, its onset of action would be three to four days. Analysts expect Dysport will be cheaper, but Wright says patients need more of it. By the unit, it'll probably be cheaper on paper, but I think that they'll probably be quite comparable in price. But as with most things, competition is good for the consumer. Expect to see Dysport in doctor's offices in the next few months.